All right, gamers, we're back. This should have been uploaded two days ago, but I was lazy the first day, and yesterday I didn't realize I had my mic on mute and it was too late to record again, because I'm an idiot. Sorry. Anyway, we're here now. <laughs> really late on this, but we're here, right? So, uh, like a week ago, uh, Blizzard, you know, released their long crap where you talk about balancing all that malarkey. I don't care about any of that, honestly, can care less. I don't care about Sombra either. No one likes Sombra, let's be honest. What we care about is right here. This. This. This is what we care about. Because this is all about our boy, Roadhog. We love Roadhog, okay? So, what it says is, I'm sure you can read, but I'm going to read it anyway, because, you know, purposes. Roadhog is currently undergoing the finishing touches that were released with his rework in Season 7 to Mid-Season Patch. Our broad goals for his rework are as follows. Increase his ability to protect his team and claim space. Maintain his overall identity and playstyle. Move some of his power around so that his effectiveness isn't so tied to his one-shot potential. We'll get into more details of Sombra Roadhog reworks in the weeks ahead, including looks at a new ability for each of them. That's all for now. Thank you for continuing feedback, yada yada yada. All that crap. So, 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 so. He's getting a new ability. Now, if they're saying they want him to take space, and protect his team i'm inclined to think it's a shield right or maybe something like a junker queen's shout obviously i think a shield and hog would be kind of broken if they're going to keep the hook in it's like what's stopping me from okay cool you have oh no i say they have a soldier right what's me from what's stopping me because obviously i can pull some pretty nice hook techs off what's stopping me from pulling a soldier around the corner Flipping around, uh, not even flipping around, shielding, and then my teammates behind me can just annihilate that soldier because they ain't gonna get any heals on him because he's gonna be because they can't get through the shield, right? So I don't know. I think a shield be kind of OP. If you ask me, other than his not being able to one shot, so he's kind of weak. His biggest bit like weakness is his mobility, right? Because I mean, let's look at all the tanks in the game. Doomfist, crazy techs. Reinhard, charge. Diva. Fly, Zarya, Bubble Jump, Wrecking Ball is Wrecking Ball. Uh, who else is there? Sigma, he can't really move that well, but I think he's still faster than Hog. Ram, you can run in Nemesis. Uh, I'm probably missing one that I'm just completely blanking on right now. But yeah, most of the tanks, they can, they've got mobility. Roadhog has none. So let's say you're playing King Drow, right? You've just lost first point and you died on first point. You're all the way in the other end of the map. By the time you get to that point again, chances are all your teammates are dead. So, you know, mobility is a bit of a problem, which is not ideal. Obviously, if you secondary fire, you can shred people. You know, obviously I like, like when I'm recording, I don't really think about it, but like when I'm actually like playing like a normal human being, I like secondary firing at a bit of range. Slinging the hook, bringing them in, one shot. You can still get a one shot every now and again. Like you can do the little tech where you come the hook, jump up, and stab them after the shot. That can sometimes get it going. But most of the time, you're going to need to rely on your teammates or environmental kills, right? Or crazy hook techs around walls, trap them off on body blocks. I've been insulted many times with body blocks. I did it the other day to Azaria. I hooked her around, body blocked her. Me and my team beamed her down. She got me fat. It hurt my feelings. But yeah. So I feel like giving him a shield is kind of going to break him because obviously the, like when I pull people there is no way they're going to escape if I have a teammate with me. So I think they should probably give him something along the lines of shout. I would like to see that because that's going to obviously with Queen I think it's 150 HP. Or was it 200? I think it's 150. Yeah, something like that for herself and then like another 50 for her teammates. But as well, everyone in the AoE, obviously, to get a speed boost, that's going to help keeping him alive, keeping his teammates alive, and it's also going to help him with his issue of no mobility. And that doesn't overly, like, juice him to the fucking gills with a shield, right? He's still going to, like, get shredded by Bastions. Soldier's still going to bully him at range, you know, because if he has a shield, okay, cool, you have a soldier, cool, I'm going to shield now, like, okay. Whereas with a shout, it keeps him balanced, it gives him movement, it helps the team which I would, I'd like to see him have a shout. And then they also said they're keeping his overall identity and play style. I saw somewhere on Twitter where apparently they're keeping in the hook and vape. 
which is good because I don't want to have to learn like a whole new ability that replaces hook because obviously you can get some nasty hook techs you know getting some nasty hooks you've literally heard me shout in the videos oh that hook is so good I'm gonna come because you know it's satisfying as fuck right and it makes them so fun to play on Ilios as long as it's not ruined because that man fucking sucks but it's well in lighthouse this is bully fest it's hilarious Rialto first point at that little bridge you can bully people it's hilarious and yeah so I'm happy they're keeping him as hook I'm happy they're gonna keep him as vape but honestly I would rather lose the vape and lose the hook but obviously we're gonna keep both which is nice i think they'll probably tune that back a little bit so he doesn't get like the honor heal for example like you know where he gets like double healing coming after he vapes i think they'll probably get rid of that or he's actually gonna be like a fucking psycho but yeah so what what they're saying is obviously we're gonna give him a new ability we're gonna keep his hook we're gonna keep his vape so i obviously unless it's something similar along to the lines of shout i don't know what it is no idea so hopefully we get some updates on that soon so from what we've been told he's keeping vape he's keeping hook and he's getting a new ability and so he's not going to be so reliant on the one shot which is going to be nice maybe actually for his ability he gets like increased damage for like a slight period i don't know no idea but anyway that's what they're saying for roadhog you know if you like it like can't subscribe all that jazz and hopefully they just don't overpower him to the fucking gill so he doesn't get nerfed into these dark ages. Anyway, see ya.